Hello beautiful guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Garden Land. So today topic is growing beautiful roses in your garden. So let's get started. So growing beautiful roses in your garden is rewarding and an enchanting experience. These timeless flowers have captivated gardeners for centuries with their exquisite beauty and exhausting fragrance and wide range of color and forms. While ro roses require care and attention with the right knowledge and practices, you can create a stunning rose garden. There will be any of your neighborhood. In this video, we'll explore the key elements of growing beautiful roses from selecting the right variety to provide optimal care. Selecting rose. So before embarking on your rose growing journey, it's important to choose the right rose for your garden. There are numerous rose varieties available, each with its unique characteristic. Hybrid teas are known for their elegant form and abundant blooms. While floor bundles produce cluster of flowers and are more disease resistant. Grandi flowers combine the best quality of hybrid teas and flowery bundles create a tall showy roses. Other popular types include clayberry shrubs and an old garden roses, each offering distinct growth habits and bloom styles. Consider your garden space and climate and personal preferences with selecting roses to ensure they will thrive in your specific condition preparing the soil so roses prefer well draining soil rich in organic matter side by preparing the soil before planting clear the area of any weeds or debris and incorporate compost or well rotted manure into the soil to improve its fertility and structure ensure the soil ph is around 6 to 6.5 as roses prefer slightly acidic conditions if necessary adjust the ph using lime for alkaline soil or sulfur for acidic soil Planting rose. So the best time to plant roses is during the dormant season, typically in early spring or late fall. Before planting, soak the rose bushes into water for several hours to hydrate the roots. Dig a hole that is wide and deep enough to accommodate the root system, usually about 18 inches in diameter and 15 inches deep. Gently spread the roots and position the rose bush in the hole, making sure the bud union. Where the rose is grafted onto rootstock is a level with slightly or above the soil surface. Backfill the hole with the soil firming its gentle around the roots water the newly planted rose truly to settle the soil, providing adequate sunlight. So roses require at least 6 hours of direct sunlight per day to dry and produce abundant blooms. Choose the location in your garden that receives ample sunlight. If your garden is shaded, Consider pruning surrounding trees or selecting rose variety that tolerate partial shade. Proper sunlight exposure not only promotes healthy growth but also enhances flower production and quality. Watering and mulching. So consistent watering is crucial for the healthy and vigor of your roses. Roses prefer moisture, soil but not overly saturated condition. Water deeply at the base of plants avoiding wetting the foliage here, which can lead to fungal disease during the hot and dry period. Increase the frequency of watering to ensure the roots receive adequate moisture applying a layer of organic mulch, such as wood chip or compost around the base of the plant help retain moisture, suppress weeds and regulate soil temperature. Feeding and fertilizing to promote robust growth and abundant blooms, roses benefit from regular feeding and applying a balanced rose fertilizer according to the manufacturer instruction in earlier spring when new growth appears. Repeat the application every four to six weeks during the growing season. Alternative, you can use organic options like compost, bone, meal, or fish emulsion. Avoid over fertilizing as they can result in excess foliage growth and reduce flower production. Pruning and dead heading. So, pruning is an essential aspect of rose care that helps retain the shape, vigor, and health of plants. Prune your roses during the dormant season, usually in late winter or early spring before new growth emerge. Remove any dead, disease, or damaged wood as well as weak or crossing branches. Prune to an outward facing bud incur courage and opening well ventilated growth habit. Additionally, throughout the growing season, regulate deadhead your roses by removing spent flower to encourage continuous blooming and prevent formation of rose tip. So supporting climbing growth. If you have climbing growth in your garden, providing adequate support is essential. Install trees, fences or pergolas for climbing cans to climb on to secure the cans to support structure using soft ties or twine. Regular train and prune the climbers to guide grown and don't desire part and maintain an orderly preference. So thank you guys for watching and staying with me in this video. We'll be tuned and coming again with the video.